so let's talk about the love tap. We gotta talk about the love tap. <laughs> you know. Holy crap. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. No, hey. Well, tell me about what it felt like when you got slapped in the face. You got slapped in the face. <laughs> it felt like a slap in the face. Uh, no, I mean, it was just like. It was just startling because my eyes were closed and I was like in this deep and you like were tired. I was like in this deep state of like I'm f I'm f I'm f I'm so f yeah. like I feel like a piece of sh because I couldn't do this job that I was like yeah I can f do it no problem <laughs> I don't know why I got an accent all of a sudden but <laughs> you know I was I just can like do yeah, I can no do problem. it it's okay um, and then I failed so I felt like sh and then my eyes were closed, and I just didn't see it coming. So it was, you could see my face, I'm just like. <laughs> it sounds f***ing, it actually sounds bad, and it looks quite bad. Does it, but yeah. I, yeah, it looks, it's because. What can you wear like a? Because the, the thing is, like, if you slap me right now with four fingers across my face, even as hard as you wanted, it wouldn't really hurt me, but it would sound like a f***ing bitch. Should we just do a Should little we do test? That? Do yeah. A little... So you slap me as hard as you want with four fingers like that. Just the four? Yeah, if you go like that, like this. Okay. Like oh, this, but as hard as you can. Really sure. hard, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, it sounds really bad, but it doesn't f***ing hurt at all. So that's the whole thing, is like, we always do that to each other back home. And that's like a very common thing, and all my mates do it, men, women, f Oh, there's the a lot thing. of bollocks. If you hit a woman, you would have been sacked on the spot. Yeah. The, the thing is that, yeah, it wasn't malicious, it was just yeah. me being pissed and trying to have a laugh. Because we f***ing live a hard life, like, we, well, not a Super hard life is pretty easy, but, but not like, tarmac and a roll. It's not that bad, you're not laying bricks, but we work really hard. So when we're out, I just want to try and bring everything up. And from where I'm from, my group of friends and my culture, people will appreciate that. And and she just obviously just a bit more just, sensitive, isn't she? Some people are more sensitive. Yeah. I do not condone woman bashing at all, but we're like quite a rough culture, you know? Like if a guy came up to me and I was drunk and like hit me in the face, I'd be like, oh, you f***ing nook, and like would like hit him back, you know? And like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just like our culture. And I think like when you never do it to like bash someone, it's just, you know, we're like just being like a bit rough and tumble and playing around. And I think he like kind of forgot that we weren't down, um, down under anymore. If I did that to Aisha, she would have f***ing laughed her ass off and just like had a, had a giggle. She would have <laughs> She would have f***ing hit me back and yeah. would have just been like a laugh. And then maybe I would have said, give me a choke slam and she could have choke slammed me onto the dinner table. That would have been f***ing sick. <laughs> that would have been a good outcome. That would be, you know, up there. But Aisha's super fun and she comes from that same sort of culture as me and that's just how we show love to each other, you know? Like, of me showing that, it's like showing affection which sounds really weird to a f***ing lot of people, but like Aisha fully understands that and she would have taken it in that exact manner. If that's Travis's culture, I'm Australian as well, so I don't really understand, but do you know what? That's fine. It's part of other people's cultures that women are covered from head to toe. It's part of other people's cultures that the man always has to stand before the woman. Like, so what? You don't push your culture on me. I will respect you and I will respect your culture. You respect mine and respect me. If it's a cultural thing for you, mm. it's just like, I'm not used to that. I'm not used to that we're kind of rough housing and whatever. So for me, it was just like a shock. Cause I was like, you don't touch my face. <laughs> <laughs> to me, your face is so personal. Even just to go like that on her face. You've known this woman for three weeks. You don't know if she's comfortable. Also, you don't know her past. You don't know what woman has been touched by a man like that. So doing that to her face can bring back sh Anyway, to me, you're out with your crew, you're at dinner. It is not acceptable to physically touch another crew member in that way, regardless. Like Jack slapped my ass within the first week. And I was like, no. That's not funny, it's not okay. Do not touch me like that. And he tried to laugh it off and I went, laugh all you like, but just so you know, I'm not laughing. I'm not joking and I don't want you to touch me like that. He never did again, trust me. But with Travis, you don't boom onto a woman's face when you, it's just, yeah, I think it's just not appropriate. Do you think Joao overreacted? Or do you think he reacted appropriately? I think for Joao, that was actually like probably an underreaction. 
No, hey, for f**k's sake, you don't do that. Don't do that. That's f**king rude. It's a, it's a f joke, it's, mate. It's not a joke. You don't slap oh, a girl. I don't give a I saw Joel that night. He was watching Travis the whole dinner, waiting for him to do something. Like, I could see him on the edge of the seat, like, waiting, because he loves to be, like, Mr. F***ing Righteous High and Mighty on his horse, like, you know, like, being the saviour of all the land. Yeah. And, like, the second, I, it was like, I swear before his hand even touched Anastasia's face, he was like, boof, like, pushing the chair back, and was like, don't you do that! And it's like, oh, f off to well like calm down and I think like him reacting like that like immediately took it from like here to like here I just thought it got blown out of proportion to be honest I think they could have resolved it without you are like jumping in being like what are you doing hitting women and all it like you didn't hit a woman do you know what I mean yet you drunken like you said misjudged the situation but yeah it was, it was the intent was drunken banter yeah where I was blown up into Wife Me beater. actually hurting someone, <laughs> you know. It was the initial hit. I, I saw more than the slap, I saw the shock in her face. She was like, what the hell just happened, you right, know? Right. And that got to me. I was really upset about the whole thing. Um, and, you know, it's kind of, it's not, it's not really flashbacky kind of thing, but I, I do, I relate to, to almost being helpless. I go back to, like I said, my mum, you know, in the position she was in before and it's very imagery in my mind. I was 15 years old when we had an armed robbery and I'd watched my mom be beaten. They hit her with an elephant bone. She was bleeding all over me. I lifted her up, basically stole everything they could. It was, it was really tough. Um, it wasn't just my mom. My stepdad got beaten. My mom was three months pregnant and yeah, it was, it was, it was really bad. So, and I just remember being helpless, so. <laughs> Yeah. And are they okay now? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, they're fine now. My, obviously, thank God my sister's around. She, my mom's very, and that's, I again relate her to Aisha. She's so positive and, yeah. So something like the love tap situation brought you back to that? Yeah, it, it always does, no matter what. It, like, everything goes back to being protective over someone I feel is helpless. I'll never accept a man touching a woman, ever. I, I think if I had known any less, I, I may have done something. I was so pissed off. You know, but um, at the same time, I mean, in relation to that, it was later in the season and every night we went out, yes. there was a problem with Travis and his drinking that it was like, all right, now you're slapping you know, now it you're was slapping the tip of people. The like now, Absolutely. it's like you really need to like stop this. Not you enough, know, and yeah. when seven other people on the boat are telling <laughs> you, you what you did last like, night, no. and you're like denying it, <laughs> yeah. you know, that, yeah. I think that says something. Or if six other people say it's okay, but Colin says you did bad, you got to <laughs> you got to take it to heart. Yeah, that's true. <laughs>I really was. I was ready to just be like, yeah, f it. I don't fing care. Like, again, I don't even know if I have a job. But then at the same time, I was like, I feel like I should say something to him just to like kind of clear the air a little bit. The fact of the matter is, what I'm really upset about is your complete abuse of alcohol. When you drink, Travis, you turn into a different person. She just basically said that it was all about my drinking and stuff, which is. My views of, of it was that she had enough period to think about the whole scenario and that she could make me look like a total f***ing c was basically how it <laughs> ended up. Because Not now hard. I do look like a total f***ing c because like all my intention and everything is just f***ing misconstrued and I don't know, it just, I just think that we had this conversation in the morning and it was crushed and we hugged and we were friends. No one talked to Nas how I did because she was doing a fucking amazing job. She was killing it. Like in the galley, she was awesome. And no one spoke to her. I don't think of any of the girls in the team or anyone bigged her up as much as me. Yo, Nas, I just wanted to say that <laughs> you're like, I know you're an intelligent, 
strong woman, and Thank I you. respect that a lot. I appreciate that a lot. And then she f***ing rinses me with that for like this thing that she knew that I was, that my intent was completely different and I was just trying to be playful. I don't think Travis is a bad person. I think he's a lovely person. He's helped me so much in the galley. Like I felt a deep connection with him. So I knew he would never do anything to hurt me on purpose. But um, I'm not somebody who like will hold things in. So mm. if I have something to say, I'll say well, it. Well, it's good if there's been like a tension, it's always yeah, good to talk about exactly. it. You don't want to hold on to that forever. Exactly. So yeah, I had to have a conversation with him. We had a conversation, it was fine, all good. From that point onwards, I was completely off Nas because I just felt like of how much I backed her and was we were real friends, I felt like that was a big false load of bullshit. So you don't agree with Anastasia that you have a drinking problem? It's only the upper end of social, I think. I don't think it's a problem. <laughs> Thanks, man. <mate. laughs> At some point, you warn Jack he's got to turn his act around or Sandy will fire him. Is he just finding half things to clean as he walks off? Go get him. Mate, you look like a knob when you clean half a rail in front of her and she's watching you do it. You're gonna look like an asshole if just before the in charter season ends, she's like, I don't need you, and you get fired. You're done, because she will. I'm on my last nerve. It got so bad where Joao was, was, was literally handwriting one to five or one to 10 yeah. things that Jack had to do by the end of the day. <laughs> That's how bad it was. Yeah. Like, he was basically like a, a child that he, you physically had to write a list for Jack to do in order to, yeah. uh, you know, figure out like how to, how to work on a boat. He is so lazy, but he doesn't care. He doesn't care if everyone knows how lazy he no. is. He will do the absolute bare minimum to get through, I think, life in general. The funniest part of Jack slacking was when Hannah was like, oh, do you guys know where something is? And, Trav's, and Jack's just like, no, I don't remember, sorry. And she's like, okay. And she's like frantically like, where is this thing? And then he like says to Trav, he's like, I know where it is, but I don't want to go and help, do I? So he's just like pretending he didn't know, so he didn't have to tell, have to help. He's like, oh if, you, you know, if, you, if you say you know things, then they're gonna ask you to oh, help. I so just pretend this. you yeah, don't yeah, know. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, whoa, that yeah. is like next level lazy. Yeah. But it's like so. I think this is why I got away with so much shit, because it's like so funny. It's funny. Yeah, it's funny. You're like, you are committed to this lazy thing. <laughs> he told us he was like, oh. I've been fired from jobs before because I woke up and decided I didn't want to go to work that day. And I was like, how can you like be okay with Jack that? Jack lives for Jack. Yeah. Where I think about Jack, here, I'm gonna give you a scenario. So I'm on the bridge, we're cruising at night from Saint Tropez. I wanted Jack on the bridge with me because Joao was having a difficult time. So I was like, take the binoculars, go out on the bow of the boat and scan the water line and just let me know if you see a buoy. I look over and this is Jack. And I watched him for five minutes, maybe three minutes. And I was like, hey, stargazer, bow, waterline, not the stars. And he started laughing. He goes, I was just mes mesmerized with the stars. I'm like, so am I. But we're gonna but have an doing, abrupt do a stop <laughs> if I hit a freaking crap, like, you know, fishing net or whatever. But that's Jack. I think with Jack, it's almost like, getting mad at a puppy that's peed on your rug, you know? You're like, it's annoying. <laughs> the rug now has pee yeah. on it, but you're a puppy, so exactly. I can't really do a lot to you. Well said. <laughs> so Verdon's friends got a little seasick. Oh, when he yeah. spewed on when me, he spewed it was on so you. funny. Yeah. Well, bro, you're not done with your omelet. Oh. Uh oh. Is he about to? Uh oh. Go to the bathroom. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. Oh, stop. sorry. Oh. 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 Lord. I was just like pissing myself laughing because I was like, yeah, dude, you are hungover. Oh my God. I remember you coming to the galley and be like, and he just like, threw up on me. I was like, if you're gonna throw up on any of our crew members, it's Aisha. That's the best person you could so ever throw funny. up on. And then he ran back up and then did over the side and did yeah. on the cameraman. Oh, oh lord. Hey, stay away from that. Oh, oh sh. There's another deck down. <laughs> oh. Oh. It went on Lou, the cameraman. He was like, what the f? I remember him just looking over. I was like, oh, like, oh, 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 oh,
He wasn't as happy as me. <laughs> <laughs> he was very unhappy. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was like standing there, I was kind of like, ah! And he's just like, <laughs> not that. <laughs> Put you took it like a champ though? Yeah, I just thought, you yeah. know, I was like, if someone's gonna vomit like that, they're already feeling so f***ing sh** about the fact that they've done that. Like, why make them feel yeah, worse about themselves, worse, you know? Sure. It's not like I can't have a shower. Mate, if that sick went on me, I'd go up there and I'd spray the c**ts with the hose. I would, I wouldn't let that go. Guest or not. You know what I mean? You can't be doing that. Yeah, no one even said anything to him. Wait, so they didn't apologise for... Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I remember looking at Lou being like, oh, bro, are you okay? And he was like, oh, what the f***? Went off the sick everywhere, got the hose out, was just like, f***, thought, spray it down. I'm looking at this guy thinking, is he going to, like, go and apologise or something? And he's like, oh, my God. I'm just Living my best life over yeah, here, throwing up on motherfuckers. You don't be sick and be like, oh, I don't know. I just yeah, won't you don't throw up, him. especially on a human being, and don't even say f***ing sorry. You yeah. are a pig piece of s***. Who needs, yeah. yeah. I felt like just throwing him overboard. Yeah. <laughs> hey, subscribe if you like the video, and if you want more, click here.